And we're back with another GTA modded joggers glitch. In this one, I'm going to show you guys how you can get color joggers on GTA Online. For more GTA glitches, subscribe as well as like the video. Let's go for a big 500 likes on this video. It's the biggest like will I set, so I hope we can get it, and I know you guys could smash that. Last thing before the video starts, I know some of you guys may know about this glitch. So, because it's not that new, it's been out there for a while. I understand that. But a lot of people still don't know about it, and like my goal is to grow, you know? I want to show everyone the glitches and a lot of people have trouble doing it as well so i just want to like clear up and like explain it better but i appreciate you watching please i appreciate you clicking the video and don't forget to like and subscribe let's get right into it all right so to start you want to head to any online session doesn't matter if it's invite only normal session just be on an online session there's zero requirements for this glitch which is the best part about it and it's not solo but you guys will see it's pretty easy to get people in the job so you want to go online jobs play job rockstar created all the way to verses and you want to start up this one crooked cop right here it doesn't matter what outfit you're wearing it could have mod accessories it don't matter you don't have to put a standard outfit on so you do not have to host since you will be hosting but if you don't host you have to make sure the host turns on a certain settings so i'll show you guys the settings right now so i prefer you guys hosting you gotta go to clothing and make sure it's on themed. So like this right here. Alright, so once it's on theme, just confirm the settings. That's all you really have to do. Now you gotta invite uh, anyone to the session. I'm gonna invite my friend. If you don't have any friends and you don't wanna play with randoms, keep watching because near the end of this video, I do show you guys another completely solo joggers glitch. It's a little bonus one at the end. So I'm just gonna play with my friend. Once we start it up, you load in on this screen. You wanna make sure that you head over to insects. So switch the outfit to insects. Only the host could do that. So that's why I prefer you guys be host. If you're on team one, you get purple joggers. If you're on team two, you get orange joggers. As you guys can see, I have the duffel bag. It doesn't affect the glitch, but I rather you guys do without a duffel bag. So if you have a duffel bag outfit, just switch off. I don't know why I'm doing it with one. You load in the job, and once you load in, this is like going to be the actual glitch part. So listen to this part closely, so you guys don't have any trouble at all. Also, make sure you have last location on. I forgot to say that stuff at the beginning. It's not necessary, but it, it helps. So once you load in, it's where a lot of you guys have trouble. You want to hold the touchpad. You could do a little run, then hold the touchpad, go to style, head to the bottom, go to illuminate clothing. You want to go on this for like five to 10 seconds. The longer, the better. Once you do that, you want to head over to player mood just on player mood and you want to just scroll through these so hold your d-pad to the right or hold your left stick to the right and just keep going through these you have to go through these for about a minute 45 seconds to a minute if you do it for too short the glitch will not work i don't know what this does but this messes up something in the gta system that allows you to keep the pants it allows you to spawn back on online with the joggers so it's gonna keep doing this. I don't wanna make any cuts on this part. So I'm gonna be doing this for like about a minute. As I'm doing it's a perfect time for you guys to be heading down, liking the video, subscribing, leaving a quick little comment. But I'm just gonna keep doing this. Keep going through a minute straight. I have a clock up right now. If you guys want, do it with me. So like play the video in the background and do it for the exact amount of time because this time works 100%. So like just be playing the video as you're doing it. keep scrolling don't go back and forth just make sure it's a consistent so like hold your left stick to the right or hold your deep the right deep pad to the right just keep going through keep going through and then once it's been like a minute you just want to stop and put your controller down so now this is gonna be at eight times speed so now we gotta wait until we get kicked so it takes four minutes to get kicked if you're not getting kicked and it's been like 10 minutes you did something wrong in the glitch don't continue doing it so it takes about four minutes this is an eight times speed right now in the final minute you'll notice you get a little message like that time remaining before you're kicked one minute so again it takes about four minutes if you're not getting kicked you can try opening netflix or youtube and heading back on i heard it works i haven't tried it myself i'm pretty sure it works though but if it's taking more than four minutes you did something wrong then you get this thing that says kick from being idle too long, you want to just accept that message and it'll put you into a GTA online session. 
So all that part was fast forwarded quick because I didn't want to waste your time. But once you're on that, just put your controller down and just stay there for four minutes until you get kicked. Once you load back on, if you have last location on, you're loading this exact spot. You most likely will not have that parachute on because I had a duffel bag, so it just glitched out like that. It doesn't affect anything. You don't need a parachute. It doesn't affect anything. Once you're in here, actually we'll start with the shoes. There you go. That's you get purple joggers. If you're on team two, you would have an orange joggers. Continue watching because I'm going to show you guys a bonus joggers glitch in a few minutes, a few seconds. As you guys can see, you can switch the top, you can switch anything you want. There's one more important step of this glitch, and that is make sure you have this insect mask off while you save it. If you keep that bug mask on, it will not save and you will lose the outfit. So you gotta make sure it's off. So these are some of the outfits I went with. I already had them. As you guys see, I had like the little duffel bag. I'll show you guys again right now. It's my favorite outfit I did with it. Little purple, jog purple joggers. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments. Purple or orange? Also vote on all the polls. Okay, so now this is gonna be the second glitch in the video. You guys may have also seen this one. I posted on my channel before. I just wanted to throw a little solo bonus ones for the people that couldn't play with other friends. So you wanna head to this location I just showed you guys. You wanna make sure it's on last location. You wanna head to hide options, jobs, make it on custom. I'm not trying to go too quick for you guys. So I'm sorry about that. Then once you put it on custom, you wanna make sure that this race spawns right here so you'll be at the clothes store at the location I just showed you and it's like a little race thing right outside once you do that you want to head over to secret serve register as ceo once you're ceo go to secret serve management style ceo style and you want to put it on to warlord as the outfit this glitch is like really really easy to do they're both pretty easy, I don't know. Let me know in the comments which one you like better after you watch this one. So as you guys can see there, Warlord. Once you're on that, you just wanna exit off. You wanna head into this little race thing right here and just start it up. As you start it up, you do wanna be solo. So I'm gonna load in with people here. You wanna leave because people could mess it up so it's just better to host. As you guys can see, there's too many people in my lobby. I'm just gonna quit real quick. I'm just gonna go off. If you quit like I did, you might notice how you, you load back on to your GTA Online outfit. So you just wanna like switch it back on. So let's go to secret serve management style and just flick it off and on again so you load back on with it. Then you wanna enter the job again. This time it's gonna ask me to host and of course I wanna host. So once you're in alone, you want to start it up. It's going to say, you want, are you sure you want to start on your own? Yes, 100%. You don't want anyone else in the lobby. Once you're in, you'll look like this. Flick one to the right. So whatever motorcycle or bike you're on, just flick one to the right. Then you want to quit once you get to that screen. So flick one to the right, confirm, quit. Now, as we're loading back on, make sure you have your controller in hand and you're ready. Cause you gotta be quick, you cannot take your time on this point. You have about 20 seconds to where you spawn in, you wanna run into the closed door. So this could take like 10 seconds to load back in. Since you have last location on, you're gonna spawn in the exact spot that I do. So it's gonna be right in front of that closed door. So now right away, I'm just gonna quickly run in, head to the first clothing rack and access it. Once you're on here, you wanna don't touch anything. Put your controller down and wait for it to kick you off. So you literally stay AFK. It takes, it could take from one second to 30 seconds. You might go get kicked off right away. You might go, it takes you 30 seconds. For me, it takes me a bit on the longer side. It switches every time. So I think it mostly takes on the longer side, but once it happened to me where it's got like a millisecond on and off, there you go, I get kicked and I have this Warlord outfit on. So if you guys try to access anything, it's not gonna let you. I'm just on times two speed right now, by the way. So as you guys can see, it won't let you access anything. So what you have to do is just retire as a CEO. Once you do that, you can access anything and you put the shoes and there you go. That's a solo jogger switch. You can switch it to however you want. 
make the outfit whatever way, put any hoodie on, any shoes, anything works. These are like the outfits I went with. You guys ask me, I do this one all the time. I'm going to have a video on it soon. Thanks for watching to the end. If you watched to this point and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you smash that sub button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.